What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing a full beginner's guide on how to mod using Nexus mods, either using the Vortex mod manager or directly um, using your, file, uh, your Windows file explorer. So in this example or this video, I'll be doing um, one for Blade and Sorcery as um, the modding community for Blade and Sorcery is pretty active. And as you can see, um, it's being it's always being updated with mods on Nexus. So that's pretty cool. So I'll be showing you how to install mods as well as um, how to navigate your way through um, Nexus mods itself. If you were to add these assets or these mods in your game, as well as a few tips and tricks on how to get the best mods without wrecking your game how to sort them, and how to avoid getting a virus. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. So like I said, I'll be doing this for Blade and Sorcery, and it's actually quite simple. The first uh, method I'll be showing you is with the uh, File Explorer, as um, I've actually ha I've actually tried the um, Vortex Mod Manager for Nexus, and I personally didn't like it, but um, uh, you're really not missing anything. It's pretty much the same deal. Uh, the way it works is if you guys were to go the route where you would use uh, uh, the Vortex Mod Manager, what it'll basically do is um, it'll transfer or um, import all of the files that you've downloaded over from Nexus to the file directory of your game. And while this is actually a convenient thing to have, it's not always re reliable. And the reason for that is because um, the uh, from my experience, the Nexus Mod Manager can be pretty buggy as um, it actually put the files on the uh, inside the wrong folder so it kind of messed up my game at one point or sometimes it will actually um, transfer the zip file instead of the contents of the zip file onto your game folder hence um, it not working so in my experience uh, from my experience I would highly recommend that you just you guys just do it the manual way uh, it takes no time to do and it's pretty straightforward now the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you have um, Nexus mods open like I do right here as well as your Steam so in this example, we'll be doing Blade and Sorcery. So the, the idea here is we would want to open the mod directory for Blade and Sorcery. So to do so, you'd want to um, open Steam, like I have here, go to library, and you'll see that there's a drop down with, a, with three options to choose from. So there's home, collections, and downloads. Now, obviously we're going to click on home and select Blade and Sorcery, just like that, um, the page we were just at earlier. And you would want to right click on this, click on properties, like so. And from here, you guys would want to select installed files from the new window that pops up like so and click on um, browse game files. So this will actually take you to the download folder where your blade and sorcery or your game that you want to mod is installed. So I'm going to click on it like so. And um, your mods would normally be installed under uh, this folder right here, blade and sorcery data, streaming assets and mods. So here's where you want to be. Now the Nice thing about um, uh, the Vortex Mod Manager is it actually has a, um, I should say, uh, a database for knowing where the mod folders are installed for um, a multitude of games. So games like Skyrim, for example, or uh, was another example, I guess Ghost Recon or like Batman Arkham Knight. So like they, they would always know where to install the mods. But like I said, it's not always reliable. It may be faulty at times. So uh, for me, a good rule of thumb is to just know where to install the mods and that'd be it without the use of a mod manager. So I have my directory open, so that's cool. And the idea is you guys would want to navigate around um, uh, the website for Nexus mods. And there are a couple ways to sort this out. You can sort them out by the last updated ones. And it's good to know that um, these ones uh, will without a doubt work with your current version of the game as they're the latest ones. So you can sort this out by many ways. You can do date published, uh, how unique downloads or how many downloads, author name, file name, file size, trending, or endorsements. Now endorsements is basically um, the, the best way to social proof a mod. So the more endorsements it has, the um, I say the better the mod is in terms of quality. Now, you'll see that when I have it sort to endorsements, it's not always the case because um, you can see here that uh, under easier dismemberments, um, the last time it was updated was uh, July 10, 2019. So this is to say that this mod no longer works with the current version of the game. So it's not always good. 
So the way I do it is I always sort it out by last updated, like so. So once you guys have this going, uh, you basically just want to navigate around the page for um, Blade and Sorcery, see which mods you like. So I'm actually going to start from uh, page 10 real quick, see what we like. So what do we want to add to our game? So an example would be, okay, so let's say that I want to play as the Arkham Knight uh, in my VR game. I'd click on this mod, open a new tab like so, and we're going to check out the mod, see the assets, the pictures in game. So it looks pretty solid. I kind of like this one. I'm going to download this one. So that's pretty cool. You're going to add this armor for your character in game. So I'm going to add this and it's also by uploaded by this um, author on Nexus, which um, I've gotten mods from before because uh, spec um, 1722 is actually a pretty good uploader with uh, reliable mods, no issues. I think I got his God of War mod. Yeah, it's this one right here, as you can see. So that's cool. So we're going to bookmark that and uh, we're going to browse the page for uh, more mods that, to add to our game. Okay, so these aren't that interesting. We're going to go to the next page. Nothing of interest either. Okay, this one looks um, pretty okay, but I don't think I'm going to get this one. So we're going to move on to the next page. You guys get the gist. We basically um, just move through the list of um, mods here see which ones you like before we get to add to our game. Okay, so that's cool. Let's actually skip to near the last page. Let's do page one. Actually, let's do page three. See which ones you like. Um, none of these seem to be of interest to me. Soldier Boy from The Boys, that's cool. Okay, so it seems like... Uh, I think we're done here, so we're just going to add the one mod to our game. So let's do one last check. Okay, this one looks pretty cool. Genji from Overwatch. We can maybe add this guy too. So right before we go to add a mod to our game, it's a good rule of thumb to uh, check the mod for bugs or viruses by checking the comments. And to do so, you guys would want to click on the post tab. And you'll see um, the comments of people who have actually downloaded the mod. So you'll see whether um, they said that, uh, oh, they've experienced um, problems with the mod or, oh, it has a virus. So that's a indication to tell you that um, the mod is a no-go. Another way is by using um, the built-in virus scanner for uh, Nexus. So it's this one right here. It says that it's safe to use. So that's good enough for me. The same for this one for Genji. Now let's see the comments, if there are any problems. Okay, so let's actually skip this one. I don't want it that bad. So the idea here is you would want to click on manual, like so. We're not going to use Vortex. Like I said, um, it's just a mod manager. It's nothing, uh, it's nothing um, too intriguing. Click on slow download and wait for this to download. Now soon you will have a zip file of this mod. So you can see that I have it downloaded now. So when you guys go to check the directory for your downloads, uh, it should be in zip file form, as you can see here. And the idea is you would want to right click on it and click on extract files and basically select the folder where you'd want to install um, the mods. So I can ha I have it here. It's this folder, as you guys can see. And the idea is we would just simply want to extract the files or the contents of this mod onto our, our game directory. And there you guys go, it's done. You now have the mod installed to um, your game in Blade and Sorcery. And that's honestly all there is to it. So yeah, um, have at it, have fun. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.